Spike, I am so excited that we have accomplished the magic of friendship. I know, Twilight, you've done an excellent job upon it. I'm so happy for you. Being a princess of Equestria is far more than I expected. I never thought it would be that much work. Really, Twilight? I just wish that every pony can realize that no pony should be very upset with each other. I just can't control that. It, it's just too much. I'm just glad my friends are able to help me. Really, Twilight? Are you really sure about that? A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Twilight, some pony needs to see you The guards just notified me that there's some kind of strange alicorn Spike I am the only alicorn in a, in the canter lot as of right now. What are you talking about? Your Royal Highness, this is the alicorn we found in the premises of your entire kingdom. An alicorn? A boy alicorn? Wh wait, what? I I'm sorry, but who are you? My name is Prince Chris Kratt. I, I come from a different land. A land that you've never heard of. Whoa! Are you really serious? That must be fun! Oh, I bet it's full of wonderful creatures. My darling, I hope they're full of crazy, fashion eyes like me. What do you mean you came from a whole different kingdom? Is it a whole lot different princess twilight the kingdom has been broken down by an evil alicorn she has taken my family she's taken my brother she's turned them all to stone i grew up without a cutie mark i don't know anything about magic and i don't know anything about flight my family grew up in this castle land they built this castle. They were bringing the hope and wonders of the land that I grew up. But my brother was never so fond of my birth. I've always thought that he never liked me. When I was crowned the, pr the next prince of the throne, I, I think he kind of grew to it. Because then after that, he started helping me learn how to fly. He'll use his magic to levitate me into the air. I would just, I could feel his magic about me. But it all didn't end there. Our mentor was very strange to me. I didn't really like her when I first saw her. She might have been a wonderful pony to my parents, but she had this evil expression upon her face. I never liked her. I just... I didn't like her. So... And it turned out that she ruined my kingdom. Ruined my family. She stole my life forever. I stood there watching as my brother and her fought to each other. I couldn't believe my eyes how he was standing up for me. Both their horns glittered the night sky. Her anger bezazzled. His fury trying to save me from harm. Her magic was so strong. It was so just magnificent as she was able to turn my brother into stone. She, I never seen my brother's eyes turn so red. I thought maybe it was the magic. But before I knew it, I was trying to use as best as I could to set him free. 
but the stone magic was so strong I couldn't even I couldn't even just lift up a tent so I came here I needed help to stop this queen she stole my family and I want revenge revenge is not the answer to any villain that's exactly what I've learned as a princess but we are here to support you in any way possible. With the magic of friendship, we can accomplish all. But how? You don't know anything about me. I might not know anything about you. But I can show you the power of friendship. Uh, hi? Yeah! Oh dear. I told you I looked weird. Chris, you must understand that you're not weird. Uh, hi? Just be a little more polite. Show yourself. Oh, Princess Twilight! Welcome to my bouquet! Ah! I got the newest fabric line right here for you! Uh, can you please stop with that high-pitched voice? It's very uncomforting. Just, uh... I can't do this. Chris, is this is Laura. She is the pony of this entire building. Rarity brought her here and taught her that she can use her skills for good. But what does that have to do with me and my kingdom? You will see. This here is Koki. She is the mighty Pegasus that Rainbow Dash is teaching. She is an awesome pony to be a friend with. Really? So, again, what does this have to do with my life to going home? You must understand that making friends can help you. With the magic of friendship, you can accomplish anything by destroying any villain. You must believe me. I have done this and I had to make sacrifices. Even the Princess Celestia herself had to make a very big sacrifice. So, I have to make friends with those ponies over there? Even if they do look kind of weird? But, what about my magic? I don't know anything. I don't know how to fly. I don't know how to use my magic to impress them. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I feel like worthless. Yeah! Hey, watch it, will you? Can't you be careful where you're aiming those wings? Ugh. I can't believe you. You're such a klutz. Um, uh, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hit you. I mean, I mean, tripped over you. Tch, yeah, right. You're only saying it because you're faking. You're sorry. Trust me, many ponies have noticed me. Oh, great. I just lost an opportunity to make a friend. That doesn't mean you give up. You have to give it a shot. Just go back up there and try to convince her to be your friend. Just talk about yourself. And trust me, I've done the exact same thing. If only you knew me in my young years, I was the exact same way. I ran away from Pinkie Pie. I scared off Flutter-sized birds. I... It took me a while to make friends. You will get the hang of it. It'll just take some time. But Twilight, I don't have that kind of time. I need to stop this evil pony. Starlight! Darling! I found a pony that you would be so awesome in meeting. He is an alicorn. Really? An alicorn and a he? Twilight, you gotta be twitching. No, I'm for real. He is an alicorn, a prince. I've never seen a prince. His name is Prince Chris. He's from the faraway kingdom of Castellan. I guess I never heard about this kingdom. It must be so fascinating if it wasn't attacked by an evil alicorn. Yeah, it's a very beautiful place. My parents are like the spring ponies of that entire area. They bring it out. 
Really? That is so amazing. Ugh! What's going on with my horn? Ugh! I've been having this issue lately where I just be struggling about my horn. It, it just... Yeah, it happened like this. I, I can't control it. Ah! Ah! Hello, who are you? What? Uh. Uh. I'm Prince Chris. Who are you? I'm Strawberry. I'm I'm one of the princesses' royal mates. Uh, Twilight! This pony just came out of nowhere! Please help me! I didn't mean to be that misfocused, but you don't have to be so rude and yelling out to the princess like I just stole something from your pocket or whatever! Twilight Sparkle! Some pony help! Chris, you need to understand that she wasn't there to hurt you. She just wanted to make friends with you. I know, Twilight, but I can't become friends with some ponies that I don't know. It just scares me. I'm sorry, Twilight. You must apologize to her. Um, I'm sorry for uh, yelling and doing all that mean stuff while you were only trying to be nice. Oh, it's okay. I'm very used to it. I'm a very high-pitched and energetic pony. Don't mind me. I, I just get excited over the littlest things. It's um, my fault, basically. I am so sorry. Uh, are you done? Oh, yeah, I'm done. I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. I like you. Bye. Magic. Magic. Ugh. I can't learn about this magic. My horn just won't work. None of this can help me. Hey. A pony that can use magic to turn objects and others into stone. That's exactly what that alicorn did to my brother. I must look into this. It's some kind of myth. But Chris, can you come out here please? What is it, Twilight? Something I need to show you. You got some ponies that want to see you and want to become friends with you. What do you mean I got ponies? I barely met anyone except that one crazy maid of yours. <laughs> Forgive me about her. She's She might be excited, but she's wonderful. Hey, Chris. Hey. Hello. Hey. What? Twilight, it's... It's, yes, it is them. Chris, I'm so sorry about yelling at you earlier. When Princess Twilight told us about what happened, I felt really bad being mean to you. Can you please forgive me? Hey, Chris, it's me, Koki. We all want to become your best friend. Yeah, we can help you with the greatest fashion ever. Do you know how to play any video games? I can show you how to play one right now. We can be best buds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Twilight, I, I actually have friends. I actually have friends. This is why you need to make friends, Chris. Because the ponies that you are with as of right now, the magic within you can form and will help create what you need to stop the villain that has hurt your family. You must learn that the magic of friendship is what makes everything perfect once again. Twilight, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am so happy. Thank you. I, I, I just have no words. I'm just... Chris, all I can say is that keep studying. Use the magic you do know. Use the power that you have once learned to try to figure out how to use. I might even help you out by finding the elements of harmony that you guys can create your own harmony elements. Really, Twilight? That's fun. But I don't know about the elements of harmony. 
I've heard every single story about you, about your magic, about you being brought to Ponyville. So you just met this pony, Chris, and you like him? <laughs> Not like Rainbow Dash. He's a great pony. I bet we will be awesome friends. <laughs> I can teach you the element of loyalty. Like Twilight says, she might get the elements of harmony. But aren't the elements destroyed? Like you taught us in the School of Friendship? They are. But knowing Twilight and her magic, she'll do anything. Hey! Oh, uh, hi. I'm s again, I am so sorry about earlier. I, I just want to keep apologizing. No, no, it's fine. I appreciate it. So, um, what are you up to tonight? Oh, nothing! <laughs> I've just been doing pretty much fine. I just got nothing to do. My sister's just doing her fashion rounds. <sighs> wow. Wait. Laura is the fashion pony? Oh my, yes, she is my sister. She might be the fashion geek, but I am the invention geek. I'm the one that makes her entire stage. Oh, wow. Oh, look at them too. I can definitely sense a true love. Yeah, me too, Rainbow. I can't wait. You want to dive in and have some fun? Ooh, I love your taste. What you got a plan? A swoop and dive, scare them both out of their wits. You know, playful. Playful around. Have some fun. Enjoy each other. You know? So, honestly, what's your favorite outfit in her entire, you know, fashion round? <laughs> well, it really depends. I do like her purple dresses. She'll make me one for the gala this year, but I don't even know if we're going to be able to go because I have to stay with my family. I mean, we work together. I just, I just, that kind of pony that just likes to stay behind. Really? But I do know some kind of fashion. Some kind of this fashion I learned on my own. It's like kind of like inventions. Just... A little dash of magic. Wait, what? Wait, what are you doing? Whoa! What? Whoa, what is... This is cool! <laughs> Told you I got a little bit of magic in me. So, you don't know anything about magic? No, I just get this weird red flash of magic through my horn. I feel like it's some kind of evil power. I don't know if maybe it's the evil Alcorn watching me or what. So, and you can't even fly either, right? No, I never really learned. Except my brother used his magic. Hiya! Hey, Koki! What are you doing? Just playing around with the best pony ever, Aviva! Uh, don't do that! Hey! Yeah! Oh, oh, I can't use this horn. Whenever I get angry, some kind of something comes out. Forgive me. Thank you anyway for trying to save me from Koki. She and Rainbow Dash likes to like dive in and scare every pony. Yeah, of course we do. We just, I'm just that kind of pony. Well, you did kind of freak me out. Please, next time, just, if you're gonna do that, please at least, we know that you're at least around. Sure, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> well, I'm all back with my lesson with Rainbow Dash. Thank you again for saving my life. <laughs> Not like it was even in danger. Well, I, I try. That's okay. All I know is that that's really sweet of you. I'll see you tomorrow. What was that, my pony? I see you are flirting with her. Flirting? <laughs> no. We were just friends. And what about that magic in your horn? You know you use magic. I don't know anything about magic, Twilight. I don't. I just don't know how to use it right. Well, I do need to show you something at why. 
This is just... This could be the reason why you can't use your horn. The magic in Equestria has begun to diminish after a while. After I became the queen of Equestria. I've been trying to research what happened to the Elements of Harmony. And I discovered that, once again, the source of its power is dying. I don't know what else to do. The Tree of Harmony is the root of all love, joy, and I don't understand why it stopped. It's just, it's got no more magic. All because the enemy broke it to pieces. And I was depending upon you and your new friends to see if you can bring back the elements of harmony through your magic, through your harmony, I was hoping that you and your friends can bring them all back. But Twilight, there's only five of us. And there's six elements. Yeah, I know. But we, I need your help. If you need any of my friends to give you the six element, please do it. You know my friends. You need to defeat this queen before she comes over to our land and destroys it. My friends and I are, well, my friends, they are way much older now. I don't even think they have the power to even buck. Only I can use my magic to stop them, but I might not have enough power. If she is turning ponies to stone... I need your help. I need you and your friends to help me. Chris, will you take this job and make me proud? Use the elements of friendship to bring peace, love, and joy back to Equestria, back to your homeland, and set every pony free. Power of friendship could be the only thing that can make this entire situation stop. I've never been through what you've been through. I can't imagine losing a family over such a villain who just cares about power. I, we have to work together. And I do believe that you have the heart to save Equestria yourself. If she is following you, she will come here to Equestria to ruin it as well. But I know exactly how it can help you. You just need to understand. Magic is not for every pony. You may not have magic because of her power, but you don't know anything about magic. She didn't even take the time to even teach you magic. She never, she tried to use you and your brother. So in all this time, not getting my cutie mark was her stealing the magic from my own brother and I? How, why should she ever do that? I mean, our cutie marks never had any magic. There's no such thing as cutie mark magic. But... I also wonder if this is a possibility that maybe it's time for me to move on. I don't understand. I I just want to I just want to save my family. I want to save my brother even if I don't get the cutie mark. Cutie mark magic is indeed a real thing. My friends and I have used our cutie marks to make the elements of harmony. We used the elements of harmony with our marks to set every creature free. We fought every villain under the sun. Princess Celestia has entrusted me with the element of harmony, with the tree of harmony, every power of Equestria for me to take care of. But seeing given your situation, I don't even think Princess Celestia even knows about your kingdom. I've never even heard of where you've been. 
I didn't know that princes can also be alicorns as well. It's a rarity indeed. But maybe if you get a chance, we can go see inside the library about these alicorn princes. But in this case, you guys must have very powerful magic if she didn't want you to gain any of it when she took over your kingdom. If I do recall, maybe it's possible. But the book of friendship here says that there's nothing compared to magic. You guys used magic to save Equestria. That may be true. But it wasn't the magic that saved us. It was the magic of our friendship. And I believe that you can use your new friends to find your elements of harmony. To use the tree of harmony to set your marks free. To bring it to pass that your mark will be a become the new tree of harmony. The old one was been destroyed. But I believe that the new magic of friendship can, can regrowth it. Enough that you can empower its magic to set Equestria once again free. But ever since the tree came back, it died. My friends and I tried to revive it, but it just didn't, couldn't even bear a single leaf. So, I believe that I... I agree. Your magic is powerful enough. Two alicorn princes in Equestria. Your magic will be able to withheld any form of magic. I just don't want to see the Tree of Harmony facing the exact same temptations it went through. Being engroved in its death. Yielding the elements of harmony and dying. The Tree of Harmony was meant to be there. To show every creature of Equestria how much friendship means to every pony. Not of that magic is power. It's supposed to help every pony. It yields our magic. It has so much magic that the villains want it. And I think you were brought here to Equestria to yield its same magic once again but it's all going to take a lot of time and a lot of magic but what I think you need to realize I don't think this tree has enough time left as, as well it didn't have much time then Twilight if you think my, my new friends and I can revive the tree of harmony what are our elements then do we use the same elements of harmony? Yeah, like the old elements of harmony were laughter, friendship, uh, magic. Uh, what was it all again? I think what she's trying to say is it's honesty, loyalty, laughter, generosity. It's magic. Twilight, are you telling us that those old elements are dying? Because of the magic from the tree? Princess Twilight, I grant you all my promise. As an alicorn prince, I did learn the value of a promise is a tap upon the horn, but I don't have enough magic to even do that. But I promise you with all my heart, from my hoof to my heart, I will protect that tree. I will yield the new elements of harmony and I will engrowth it. I will rebirth its leaves. Even if it means our cutie marks can be the power. But I got a quick question, Twilight. Uh, what about Chris's cutie mark? I mean, he doesn't even have one. How can he find his own mark? I mean, no offense, but I don't know, Laura. It is a good question. But with Chris given the power of being an alicorn, he doesn't need magic of his cutie mark. His wings and his horn bears it. But if once the villains capture him and the other elements of harmony, there's nothing we can do. 
Once every single power of Equestria has been sucked out of us, we can't force anything. I've already tried to protect Equestria once, and I failed. I failed. You don't understand. I'm the princess of Equestria now. I'm no longer the princess of friendship. I can't be royal to two different dignities. One of my... I... All I want is every pony to be together. Twilight, I never thought you'd be so engrossed in your power of, as a princess. I mean, ruining an entire country is one thing, but being a princess of friendship and the princess of Equestria? Why don't your friends have roles in the kingdom? I, I don't even think you could do even half of what Equestria needs. It's, it's kind of complicated. My friends wanted to help out with the, with the nightmares, the dreams, the rising of the sun, the festivities. But Princess Celestia told me that I have to watch it myself. That I can't trust. When the box first came to me, I didn't realize that it contained so much. Maybe your cutie marks will reveal a box of your own. And maybe that magic will help you get back to your house. To get back to your kingdom. Sending it free. But I can't promise that magic. It was only you but my friends and I. Not every single magic is the same. But if the Tree of Harmony releases the box of accomplishments. You must use that magic immediately. You cannot let the enemy see your magic. Once your glow, your allura signs, you must let it flow. You cannot let any pony take it away. When your allura grows, your cutie mark will. Your horn will glow. As an alicorn, you must notice the power of being the alpha at any point. When your cutie mark glows, you will know your road. So basically, if I, once I find my real mark, I will be really, I would actually shine. But would I get my cutie mark? It's not certain. But I believe that once you realize the true meaning of friendship and the true meaning of power, anything will not stop you. All you have to do is gain the trust. Twilight, I... I just want to say, I... I feel something inside me. I will do anything in my power to save Equestria, to protect you and the other princesses. I would do anything. Even if I have to become one with all the princesses to protect the kingdoms. One alicorn cannot do this alone. We both share the same power. We, bo we both are born for this. We both are royal to the end. I will find a new element of harmony. I will use my new friends. We will work together to find a new element. Now that's the spirit. The spirit of friendship. When I first came to Ponyville, it was not like that for me. I thought maybe it was about studying. But when you first came into my life, I realized that you were just like me when I was a young filly. But you have so much potential. You're wanting to save your brother. You're wanting to save your parents, your own kingdom from this villain. And I'm very surprised you got that dream. It tells you to come over here to Equestria. It was so many moons ago. And I'm sorry it took you so long. Don't worry, Princess Twilight. It might have taken many moons for me to get here. But from deep down in my heart, I'm glad I met the Princess of Friendship herself. I've heard so much stories about you. How about your friendship lessons? About how you became a princess? Your adventures as a princess? 
But I never thought you had the power with your friends. I've always thought that being an alicorn was every point he looks up to you. Know you have power. And that if you do one thing wrong, they have power to hurt you. I didn't want to become a prince. Because I didn't want any pony to look at me like I'm a higher arc. I want to be down with the ponies. I want to be down with them. I don't want them looking up at me. I don't want to turn my nose up to them. Here. Take this magic ring. This ring will protect you in any form of evil magic. It will not suck out your magic. Because I believe deep down inside you have it in you. You might not be able to, to show it right now. But take your time and it will show you then. Just, I believe your friendship. I believe your trust. And I believe your promise. You will be able to save Equestria. Now. Princess Twilight. I do hereby announce myself. To be the arc. Of this adventure. The magic within. Will be upon me. As we share the magic together. We will save Equestria. I will not stop until she is done and over. I will not stop until my brother is safe. I will not stop until my kingdom is safe and on their hooves. I will not stop until my family comes back together. Even if it means I have to travel to the ends of the world. <laughs> you are just like me when I was a villain. So much potential. So much I want to be there for my family, but it's just magic just shows you the power. And this is not. I think, too, I really think you need to come with me to Equestria. There's something I have to tell you. How long am I going to write this? I'll never be able to learn any of these stupid spells. Ugh! What am I supposed to do anyway? Use my magic to turn stuff into stone? I gotta do this for her. But I still can't believe my brother would turn against me. Excuse me! What do you think you're doing? Uh, I've just been studying for so long. I, I just can't focus on... St I just can't focus. I'm tired. Tired? In my house? I did not want you to be in here yawning. I want you to learn magic so you can stop your brother from an evil plan. He's got to take over Equestria all over Pony World. You need to stop and focus on your studies. If you do not stop him, he will drag you down to the ground. You're lucky I didn't teach him any magic, so he can't. Now, I don't want to hear any more excuses for you that you can't study. You need to learn every single power of magic to stop him. I gave you all the books of dark magic. Learn the stone one. Turn him to stone. And once you do, you will be victorious. What did he ever do? I mean, why would my younger brother be so power struck? I don't even... Nah, I can't even remember when he was a filly. When he was a fool. I, no. I can't even remember anything. If we talk it out, what? I said, what if we just talk it out, maybe? I think this is all a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? You think your own brother would use his power against you? 
But as a misunderstanding? Your brother's been power struck since he was the moment he was born. Don't you remember when you were so jealous about him being born? <sighs> well, turns out you are a weakling. Once I take over Equestria, <laughs> you're in for a big surprise, my little pony. You and your brother will wish you'd never been born. <laughs> And once I accomplish all equestrian magic, I will be able to finally take over Canterlot and take back the throne that was once my mother's, which your princess of Equestria has stolen from me and stoned her for all of equestrian magic years. I will stop you. So... Uh, how was your practice today? Any accomplishments on magic? Uh, not even a spark. I don't know why you're so eager for me to learn how to use magic. I thought this, is a, this isn't a magic quest. Well, it is true. But I just want to make sure you're okay. Twilight, what if something were to happen? I mean, what if my brother and I are not what we appear to be. Why would my brother be so into power and want to take over me? All I remember was he tried to save me. The next thing I know, he used his magic on me. Chris, it's okay. I mean, the main thing about it is you're with us now. You can use our magic of friendship and our cutie marks to stop him. Yeah, of course, duh. What are you so afraid of? I just never thought about it. Uh, is it me? Or is it getting super dark all of a sudden? Um, Twilight? I don't even like this one bit. Uh, it's getting bigger. It's not a lunar eclipse. Where's Luna? Oh, wait. Twilight, I didn't see this on the news. Will you stop freaking out, Laura? It's it's some kind of red moon. But for some reason, it's bringing back that memory when I first saw her. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome to my little magic my ponies. The power within all majesty. And look who we have here. The young antagonist himself has phoned. Oh, what are you doing here? How did you even find me? <laughs> Don't you even forgot that I know everything about you? <laughs> In all of actuality, maybe you should need to stop and bow down to me. What do you mean, bow down to you? We were brothers. Well, we are brothers. But why are you being like this? Because you want to take over our family. You want to take the throne. What? Me? But that's you. Excuse us. It's supposed to be a little skit and inside it get disrupted. Hey! You told me to approach him and tell him about the battle. Oh, you foolish pony. I told you to surprise your enemies. Not be a jerk. Come on, you're ruinous for me. I was just about to tell about the battle and you decided to pop in out of nowhere. <sighs> you have so much to learn. Every pony of Equestria, even you, Princess Twilight, there will be a battle concerning your little enemy, your little foe, who decided to bring this tormentson upon you. He wanted to take over Equestria, since he couldn't take over his own family's place. There will be a battle, and this pony must come out of his hole in order to be stopped. 
And now you have to come back to the kingdom with me. I have to teach you how to become more of a... Just a... Shoulder. But instead, you're such a... uh, You're such a weakling. All you do is mess things up. You mess up the plan. You never even listen to me. I, I don't even know why I decided to take you underneath my wing when he destroyed you. But he never destroyed me. I mean... You made it up that he took over the throne. I just believed you. I... Uh, sometimes I wonder if you're really my brother. You destroyed everything. And I will get you. Uh, what is happening? I don't know, but I'm feeling very uncomfortable about this. And... Chris? Come into Equestria to take over all magic? What if that's even... Wait a minute, Koki. What if that's wrong? You don't know if that's true. But what if it is? We're in for a deep shock. What if they're the villain? Come on, every pony, Stop it. I'm not what they say I am. I'm the one who's driven out of my kingdom. I was just a fool. I didn't know anything about magic. I didn't even know how to fly. I can't even fly right now. For goodness sake, I don't know any magic. I don't. I don't even know why you're even here. I don't even know how you even found me. (laughs) Come on. You're making this difficult for me. Because you don't know how to follow a plan. (sighs) And finally, at last, we decided to stop him. He is a loser anyway. We must decide when we're going to attack the battle. And, uh, and, uh, and you better learn that magic right away. How about if I don't learn it? You ruined every opportunity I had because you failed at it. You failed. All you do is mess things up like you... Th- <sighs> Just go to your room. You better learn that stone magic or I will make you learn it. And don't you even say a word to any pony about this. And if you do, it will be both regret for you and your little evil brother. I'm telling you the truth. He used you. He turned against your own parents to try to take over the throne. Now go to your room and study that magic. We need to go before the next full moon. But I... It's really... It's a hard spell. I can't learn this on my own. I don't care. You need to learn now. In all power and all dignity... You need your magic to stop him, darling. If you don't use your magic, <laughs> he will be the, like, very... He will be... Oh, my pony, he's just gonna toss you down in the dirt and laugh at you. Don't you realize about that? I'm a very powerful alicorn. I know every bit of trick about magic. I know every power. Then why didn't you stop him yourself? He was just a fool. Because you're lazy. And you were standing up to him so much that you attacked me. Ah! And I had to put you down. Ah! I'm very sorry about that. I thought that you were just hurting him. I I just thought it was the right way. I know. But you need to learn to justify your magic even stronger. You need to stop him. Because if you don't, it will all come back. What are you doing to me? Just listen to me. Follow those memories. How he turned them into stone. How he faked all his love for you. He even turned your beloved mother. He stole everything from you, but I protected him. No, you never did. 
You protected him because you didn't know. But I just didn't know. I... How could I protect some bony? Nah! Nah! You will regret it. It's understandable. Nah! Just make it stop! Nah! What's happening? Nah! 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 Some, some pony get twilight now! Stop this coming! I, I feel it deep inside! Ah! No! 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 Huh! Huh! What happened to me? Oh! Huh? What? Wait! What just happened? Wait! I my horn! I just no! The boy! What just happened? Twilight! Twilight! I need your help! Please! <laughs> what on Questria happened? I don't know. The, the ring was making that red magic thing happen again. Uh, I actually can help you with that. I actually know some pony that can help you. Temptus? Huh? I need a favor from you. He's like you. Who are you? I've never met an alicorn, I mean, unicorn like you before. <laughs> I'm Twilight's little royal guardian. I heard you had a similar incident like I did. Yeah, as you can see on my head, I mean, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Let me try this power upon you. I did this myself, and it helped me a lot. And it made me feel very unique. May the power within reunite. May what been broken to be mended. Whoa. Thank you, Temptus. You don't know how much I feel more better. Fire magic, stone magic. I never even heard half this stuff. Are you sure I gotta really learn all this? My yes, darling. Now, be a dear and keep on studying. Maybe I'll give you some good dinner tonight. But I will be in my bedroom if you need me, darling. Mama needs her spa day. <laughs> oh, I hate this stupid form. Ah, oh, I can't wait until I can just become myself. <laughs> I can just see Twilight's face when every pony sees who I really am. Mm, power is all mine. <laughs> Twilight, you, is he going to be okay? Chris, I need you to understand. This is not the end of the world for you. You can still be an alicorn. Just... Chris, maybe you need to understand that we're all here for you. And... Our magic can help you recover. That's what friendship is about. We help each other. Twilight, what if he's right? What if I don't remember half my life? What if I am a villain? I am sure, deep down in my heart, you are not a villain. You are a very special pony. I... I just want to learn everything about friendship. I just want it to be me, and, and he, I just feel like I just... All I feel like is that I've been betrayed, and 
My magic's been restored. Every moment I have inside, I just feel like this inner power within me coming out in difficult... I can't even describe it, Twilight. It just feels like something inside me is trying to come out. And it comes out in a magical purpose. I just... I just feel like this is my destiny. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my pony! What? What? Chris, your your magic. You still have it. Uh. Huh? What just happened? Your your inner spark. Oh my stars! You still have it. Ah! <laughs> Turns out no pony is a wimp after all. So. So he didn't take anything. Twilight, I beg apologies. I, I, I mean, I. Twilight, I'm sorry. Okay, please. I, I doubted you. Please, Chris. I believe you, but sometimes I feel like that you might have to turn your own brother into stone if his power becomes too much. I can't stop him on my own. You have to make the decision yourself. Please, wait. So basically you're telling me that I gotta turn my brother into stone? I just discovered my mark, my my. My glow? And then this is what you tell me? I have to turn my own brother into stone? Chris, please, understand. It's not what I mean. I I just want you to be safe. I want every pony in Equestria. I want your parents to understand. Please don't hate us. I, I'm just trying. Twilight. I can't believe you would tell me this. I... I loved my brother. Is this how you treat me? What about your own brother? What if he turned against you? Chris. Hey. Twilight? I think you really hurt her, Chris. But she, she told me to put my own brother in the stone. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, but comparing another pony's life with yours is not right. I Just because Twilight has a brother doesn't mean... I just need you to go to apologize to her. I get it. You're traumatized. You're upset. But sometimes... Sometimes we gotta do something we don't like. But don't you worry. You got me. You got my sister, Koki, Jimmy. We'll help you build the elements of harmony. Please. We'll still be there for you, even if the dark shower. Twilight, I have to tell you something. I want to apologize to you. The deepest of my... Heart, I'm sorry I spoke to you like that. If I have to do something I can't feel in my heart to do, I'll do it to protect Equestria, to protect you, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, every princess of Equestria. Just please forgive me, Twilight. I know, Chris. Like I said, you have so much potential. You have so much love in your heart. I can't see you in pain. Now let's go learn that magic. Okay. Um, I think I finally mastered that power of the stone thingy. Oh, perfect. Finally. Wait, are you curling your hair? What do you think I'm doing? Biting it? Uh you always come in at the wrong times. I'm always telling you to stop.
But you told me to learn the magic, so I came here to tell you. What are you hiding anyway? What? Uh, what's that cutie mark? What? 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 No, no, no. I mean, come on. Now, listen, my pony. Wait, what? Huh? Whoa, what? A, what? Chris is your enemy. You have to stop him before he destroys all of Equestria. You want to be broken down and abused? Wait, no, 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 I don't. I, I, then listen to me. Then listen to me. Go get everything ready right now. We are going to Equestria and surprise attack them. He needs to be stopped before his magic re fully recovers. He had his first glow. And that means his magic is coming back. His evil power. What does she mean? Maybe he's just... I don't... Why doesn't he and I even have a cutie mark? I mean, we can't use magic without cutie marks. Once we get our mark, we'll know our real glow. I... I hope I'm doing the right thing for you, Mom. Dad, I hope... I really want you to be proud of me for protecting the kingdom, but I feel like I'm being twisted and turned. What if Chris isn't the evil one? What if I am? I... I've been so... I just want my family again. I want to be home. I want to be with my family. I better go get that stuff before she comes out. I don't want her being angry with me. I gotta, I gotta learn that magic trick one more time. I, I gotta learn everything. I just can't. I can't keep going on like this. No. Oh. Twilight. Um. Uh. Has any pony ever seen Twilight today? I really need to speak to her about something kind of important. It's about magic. And about, uh, defeating a giant villain of the entire world. Hello? Anyone even here? Uh. Chris, there you are! We've been looking all over at a place for you! Uh, I've been yelling for the past 30 minutes now. What the heck is going on here? Well, we don't have any time. Princess Twilight wants you at the castle right now. Yeah, it's very an important matter. She brought all three of the princesses. I guess she wants you to meet them all. Whoa. Okay, this is a weird invitation. Come on. Can you even fly? Eh, I could try, but... Wait, what the... What the what? I can fly? I wasn't doing this yesterday. I swear to Ponyville, I've never flown. What the what? Whoa, this is so cool. No more magic. I mean... Uh... I, my brother used to use his magic to help me fly, but, oh my pony, I can fly! No magic! Look, no hooves! I can fly! Oh my pony, what in the creature world is this? <laughs> I've never seen an adult pony so excited to fly before. Never mind Rainbow Dash. Well. Whoa! Yeah, crash landing! Chris, you need to ease yourself. You can't appear before the princess is like a little fool now. You gotta be like the, the upstyle, the prince, the royalty. How do you know anything about being a prince? I'm just saying, because I, I, I've never met the princesses myself, and I'm so nervous, I'm so excited, I'm so nervous, excited. Ah! <laughs> the one thing I'm worried about right now. I know, but it's just so much exciting happening! Ah! Do you girls always squeal so much? Because this is getting very uncomfortable with me. Oh, silly. We do it all the time. In fact, you got three girls on your team and one guy, so we kind of beat you. Hey, I take that as offense now. <sighs> so this is it. I'm finally meeting the princesses of Equestria. The two former princesses 
the sun and the moon, the princess of the crystal empire, and the princess of friendship, the legendaries. I guess I better go inside. Twilight, I'm I'm here, I think. Uh uh, Twilight? Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over Equestria for you. Every pony's been saying that, but I've been looking all over Equestria for you. Unless I'm some kind of magic shield or something, I have no idea. Uh, I've been, I scheduled this meeting for, just, for you to meet the princesses, and now you're like 45 minutes late. You have to be prompt. I didn't know you had a meeting. Are you crazy? I sent you a man of... Ah! Well, I don't have a dragon like you do. Oh. Then where the heck did I let her go? Oh. This is so freaking acknowledging. I just can't take this anymore. Too much magic. Too much this. Too much that. No. Oh. Why does that alicorn look so familiar? What is about her that's so intimidating, so lying? And, uh, huh, Chris, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just in a daydream. Uh, I think. <laughs> this, these are the princesses of Equestria. Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence. Princesses? This is Prince Chris. Oh. Oh, hello. This is so and so wild. <sighs> so you're basically telling us that there's another alicorn in the world that's going to take over Equestria and we basically retired at the right time, huh? <laughs> Celestia, you silly fool. <laughs> but Chris here is the pony of the century. He's going to revive the Tree of Harmony with his new best friends. And with the Tree of Harmony, Twilight, the Tree of Harmony was destroyed many, many moons ago. But the Tree of Harmony is back. It's no joke. It's back. <laughs> um, Sister, do you think we gave her too much power? I don't know. But with the power of friendship, Chris can finally stop those evil villains. There's only two of them right now, but I'm sure he can stop them all in the future. Wait, what did you just sign me up for? But the Tree of Harmony came back. Right when he came back to here to, to Equestria. I think it's a calling. He's being called to, to renew its power with his friends. And maybe he can use that power to keep Equestria safe in his own hometown. I think we need to use anything we can to help Chris with his magic to reunite the power. I think we need to do exactly what you guys did to me when Tarek took over Equestria. Are you telling me that we gotta give all our magic again, Cadence? I'm serious! I'm not doing that again. I got a baby to take care of. I mean, Mom... <laughs> uh, yeah, she's not a baby anymore. Twilight, we gave you all the power for now, but we don't have anything left. We may be princesses, but we're formal. We're retired. I mean, can't you see the gray hair in our manes? <laughs> but I think Twilight's right. If the Tree of Harmony did come back, there's another purpose for it. And if it came back when Chris did... Then there's a reason why. And I think we need to give him a chance. But what about our families? We'll have to search about that later, Cadence. I'm pretty sure my big sister here knows exactly what she's talking about. Twilight, please don't mess this up. Are you sure you can trust him? You've only known him for about a couple moons now. I just have a tendency of not trusting ponies like... Chrysalis and all that, you know. I mean, <laughs> you know. 
Twilight! Twilight! Spike! What, what are you doing here? I want to have you to know that please be careful when you're choosing this. I don't want to lose my favorite pony. You raised me, and I don't want to lose you, Twilight. Please, make sure you're going to do the right path. I don't want you to... I don't want to lose the mom that took care of me. I'm more than just a baby dragon to you. And you're more than just a pony to me. It would break my heart if I lost you. So please make sure what you're going to do is okay and safe. I don't want any pony to be without a princess. And with the princesses retired and cadence with her child and her daughter. And just, please, Twilight, just don't make this decision. If you don't think he has the capability, don't force him. Spike. Please, no, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm... Chris needs all the magic we have to help him. This villain is threatening his life and his family and... As far as we know, he she stole his only family from him. I mean, what Chris said is right. If my brother went rogue, would I have to turn him into stone? I can't do this, Spike. I can't. I, I just want to be okay. We just need to use everything in our power to help him. Maybe if we stop the villain before Martin, maybe he'll wake up. Oh, mate, I, I just want to help him. Twilight, it's all up to you. I'm not going to force you. I do feel like, though, that our magic is getting pushed. And I don't want to gain all the power of Equestria and then fail at this. She is a very powerful alicorn. I remember who she was. She's... A shift shape. Shift. How do you say it again? Shape shifter? Yeah, that. She is the cursed serpent, Medusa. <gasps> no. No, no. Not the alicorn, Medusa. Uh, sister? What are you telling me? Medusa used to be in the city of Skylos. She, what on earth is she doing in Equestria? We banned her. I pass this magic upon you to save Equestria, to save the princesses, to save your friends and the citizens of Equestria. We trust you with our magic. We pass it along. Use it wisely. Use it strongly. Do not let the enemy stop you. Keep using your magic. Keep letting it free. You belong to us, Chris. For all eternity. It is finally time to stop them all. It is time to stop Chris and his evil plan. It's time that I stop Twilight Sparkle from sitting upon the throne. I will now rule in favor of my own mother. <laughs> and I will rule the entire world! <laughs> I never seen you so excited. <laughs> my uh, mentor, I guess. You better be excited, because today is the day we will stop Equestria from using magic. Oh, my pony, I can't wait. I can feel it now. I will be Queen Medusha. Wait, what? Yeah, Queen Medusha. That's my real name, darling. I'm not just a mentor. And then you will be my greatest sidekick, Prince Martin of Equestria. You will thank me later when you will end everything. Your brother will now regret once you have him under your power, you can use him whenever you want. You can use all his power. 
I had this weird tinkling feeling inside that, um, it's a kind of like brother feeling that something's going to happen any moment now. And two, I feel so freaking weird because I got shoes. Why am I wearing shoes? What's a horse that never wore shoes? Holy moly, I'm out of I'm all decorated. <laughs> That's what the power we're giving you. Our magic made you the prince you were supposed to be. Now use that magic to save us, to save your friends. Find your element of harmony. With all my power within, I use it all to defend. Equestria forever. Magic rain. Rainbow power. Friendship is wild. Oh, my stars, they grow up so fast. I'm so, so, so. <sighs> Celestia, doesn't he remind you a lot about me? Yes, he does. All right. Who's ready to stop every pony? I mean, the villains, which is every pony, but you know what I mean. I'm just very nervous right now because, but we need to find our elements of harmony first. I think we'll find it when we get our marks. I mean, we have our cutie marks, but we don't really know what our elements of harmony are. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like Twilight and her friends. We might have our own. Yeah, but what kind? I have a good feeling, honestly. I mean, Aviva is very kind. And Koki is loyal. Um, Laura, you're pretty generous. Jimmy, you're honest. Because that's, that's how every pony is. I will be magic. But who would be laughter? I, like I said, it might not be the same elements of harmony, but you all have a point. But we might earn our own, our own power. I don't have a doubt about that. My dearest sister, how could you ever tell such a pony to reject his own family? Luna, you know I do not mean that. We mean it the other way. I get it, Celestia, but you need to understand this, Luna. Sometimes a villain will never be restored. Well, what if I never came back? What if I turned the main six into stone? You don't know what you're dealing with. Luna, please. We're trying hard to help Chris figure out how to stop his own brother, Mom. We just don't know how to do it. We figured turning him into stone. So you think turning a villain into stone will solve all Equestria's problems? That's what you always think. That's what you always say. Um, I don't know. Uh, listen. Would you ever turn your own brother into stone if he'd never listened to you? I love my brother. I care for him from the bottom of my heart. I don't want to turn him into stone. I see you're driven by your detestation. Your every step is stuck with animus. You need a different type of motivation. Or there's no way that you can handle this I know you're thirsting for vengeance Baggy, you're out for blood But you'll only stand a chance If you're out for love Out for love You're out for blood, but you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love. love, love. 
I'm sorry to cause the great pain to you, Chris. I just wish I knew better. It's okay, Twilight. Sometimes love is our, the strongest bond that any pony can endure. I just don't want to make the wrong decision. We're in this together. Don't sacrifice yourself. I need to get to help. I need to find help. If only I could find his weakness. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Chris. Please. Lauren? Are you Chris's brother? Yeah, I guess you can say that. What, whatever happened to you? Your brother's been looking all over for you in all of Equestria. He loves you. Are you really serious? Him? He's but a villain. He's gonna take over magic of the entire Equestrian world. And you think that he loves me? After what he's done to me and my family? I assume you were told the lies of within Chris's life. He is not the villain that you think of. It is the mentor that you are with that is the liar. Chris? I don't want to be around you right now. You think that our magic makes us different? You think that I'm the villain? Chris, no, I... That's what she told me. You believe what your mentor did. The same one that turned you into stone. The same one that abandoned me. What? No. I, I've always thought that you left us. I thought you turned us into stone. And you need to understand that I'm not the villain in all this. I'm the one that ran away from home. I traveled over thousands of miles into Equestria. Don't you remember that day? Don't you remember when you stood above me when she tried to put her magic upon me? She tried to kidnap me, but you used all your willpower and made yourself look stronger. I would never forget that day when I looked up at you, staring and fighting against her. I knew that I cared for you. I loved you for your power. You protected me, and seeing you turn into stone broke my heart. I tried to take you out myself but i didn't have much magic i didn't learn much magic to even help you i tried everything i tried please just shut up i can't believe i've been lied to i what am i supposed to do luna <laughs> you have to make the right decision. You have to fight your evil mentor and come back to him. Your brother's doing everything. Even Twilight Sparkle and Celestia are thinking of turning you into stone if you do not change. You need to prove them elsewise. Luna, I'll do anything. I just want to go back to him. Trust me, my little pony. I know exactly what you're going through. And I myself went through the same pains. But trust me, 
there's a will, there's a way, and you will both win. She did this to me. Philly, I want you to wake up right now. You've been asleep the entire time. <sighs> Foolish fool. Does he realize the magic is right there before us? Once I gain both their magic, I will finally rule over their kingdom. <sighs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, Twilight. You brought me far enough. I am ready to face the battle that I am been prepared for all this time. Just so you know, Chris, we're all here for you. And I want you to realize that no matter what goes through within your head, we are here to help you. The elements of harmony will help show you the way and show you what you need to do. I can't wait till we do this. Oh my goodness. Chris, we're always here for you. Yeah, of course. Hey, don't forget me. We're in this together. It's going to be a full entire adventure. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you all so much. And Twilight, I want to thank you for you being my mentor. I knew coming here to Equestria at the Cantalot to see you would really help me understand the power of friendship and of magic. And I want you to realize too, Chris, magic is not of a dignity. It's the friendship that grows within your heart. You thought magic came from your head, but it comes from the heart, from the friends you love. It's not about the evil. It's about the power that lives within you. And may the elements of harmony flourish within your mane, within your heart, and your horn. May the elements of harmony be as strong as the last ones. Oh my fools. Are you kidding me? You're freaking crazy. I told you to learn those magic steps and you never even followed any of them and I am expected that you can take over an entire kingdom and stop your evil brother from taking all the magic of a Questria world I don't even understand you yeah but you're the one that lied to me my brother is not an evil pony like you say He's the opposite of an evil pony. You need to shut up. I have taught you all the magic you need to learn. How could you go against me now? If you go with him, you'll only be a slave to him. You need to understand that the magic of his Power. He's only manipulating these ponies around him and even taking over Twilight Sparkles and Princess Mina and Celestia's power. I'm the only one that can stop them and stop his power from flourishing. But you lied to me. You never told me. Chris was only a fool. He didn't know much magic. So how could he gain up all this power just to defeat three princesses? But they're still flying around. You do not understand. Are you kidding me? I learned the truth from Princess Celestia herself. She told me that Chris was looking after me. And he loves me enough that he doesn't want to turn me into stone. And she has shown me herself that you are the evil mentor. You betrayed me. <laughs> Luna knows nothing of the real truth. She's only been brainwashed by your own brother. But trust me, my little pony. 
you will be more understanding when we get closer to the battle. Now get the, all the items together. We will fly to Equestria in the morning. We will fight them. And I better not hear from you ever again that you're going to stop them. But I don't want to listen to you. You changed everything. I don't even... Ah! Oh, my fool. I told you. He is only a fool. He wants to take over the magic of Equestria from every pony. That is not true at all. Oh, why? Isn't it the evil Alicorn that wants to take over Equestria? Or was I wrong? Get back here now and let me face the anger. Oh my, isn't it Marin? Stop! <laughs> All the magic has gone so far without you guys even noticing. <laughs> you stole everything from both of us, and I won't stop anything to stop you. <gasps> Chris! But I know you, you were the evil villain all along. Well, it's too late. No! Time to finally finish you. <gasps> no! Chris! I'm so sorry about everything. I didn't realize how brainwashed I was to know that you were the villain all along. It's all in the past, Marn. I still love you. We're still brothers. In fact, it was Twilight Sparkle who helped me realize that I wasn't alone in all this. We rebuilt the elements of harmony with the new powers of friendship. And I'm happy. And if it weren't for Chris, I would have not learned that family and love are not two different things. When love overbounds each family, it makes their friendship stronger. And with the new elements of harmony, I can proudly say that the new elements have therefore brought you your second life. And I still care for you, Mar. Despite what happened between us, we're still brothers. And forgiveness is still nigh. I'm very sorry, Chris. I know you will forgive me. But sometimes the past will never be forgotten. But our love will always abound. We are forever brothers. Forever united. Love and sacrifice will win. Thank you, Chris. You are the best brother ever.